Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can create a, a workflow report that will show me every workflows that are pending in uh, someone's inbox or something. So by standard, you know, there is a T code that you can check, but this one will be a report because most of the time the T code that, that is assigned uh, can cannot be assigned to a to a business user it will only be assigned to a administrator okay like swi5 okay but this one i'll just create a uh, quick very simple it will take less than five minutes let's put it it's 747 by the time now and we'll see we'll be done by 752 okay let's start your time now sqvi okay we'll create an above query and here uh, oops the system is pretty slow Okay. So we have a back query and here we'll just create a quick view and we'll click create. Okay. And oops. I think the moment I hit the time system is slow. Well, we'll try get uh, work items pending in user inbox. Okay. So we'll do table join. Of course, there will be a bunch of table I'll join. Not bunch, probably three. Okay, and I'll click create. And now I'll go into this. I'll put this. I'll hit this, and now I'll pick my work item IDs. Okay, so the first one I'll do is S triple W I head. That's the main table for workflow. Okay, and uh, then the second one is the this one. This is the object that will store the key field okay and the third one is the users that will store the user okay so i'll go here is wwusrwi okay so this is done now here i have to do something here I i'm not interested about this joining i have to join a different workflow so uh, i need to join down too much well it it would be top wi so let me see top uh, top 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 wi id hmm. let's see top there is top task and uh, yeah this this one i will do this thing and it says cannot be okay so this one sorry top would be with top this okay this one is important and this one ideally will take it out so delete links okay we are in two minutes the rest is fine let's go and now we'll build our selection screen okay let me go into change mode this one work item type work item text or we can say creation date uh, creation time probably we don't need this because this will be empty because we are going to use um, status of course we want status Let me go down and I hit this one so oops there is work item status uh, where is it? status is very important and uh, probably I will say priority if you want you know uh, the rest is the rest I don't need it I'll go down um, and again if you need some some specific information you can always find it out okay and so let me go down scroll completely down so a lot of field in this head table so that's why we have to go through okay now we will see the user id i need oops so let's see okay so here the work item id i'll put it once again probably it's very slow okay job so it's taking more than five minutes i'm afraid so it will be here and 
here I will select this and I will select cat ID instance ID and tap ID okay that's it this is my layout now we'll do the selection screen which would be fast I think a work item type um, and I'll bring it here I'll change it here and I'll bring the status for sure I need it and uh, what else I need I will need the users because that's what you want to see right so I'll put the user ID and and here and I think this is good if you want further I can go up a little okay here I can put the instance ID and the type type ID okay and I'll click create now we are done we're saving it now we execute boom 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 okay now work item type I'll put W I'll put the status as suppose ready and I'll execute okay so and we'll just validate it you know so here you can see the work item ID okay all this and here is the agent it's going to okay the different agents it's going to so if you want to see suppose student 10 you want to see the inbox of student 10 okay uh, you can see all these items as in student 10's inbox so we can just go to SWI5 just to validate this report and sometimes it may show more stuff so you can see there is there is more stuff but these are all ready and these are outlined probably as, uh, oh since it's assigned to everyone that's why you're getting it so that's true okay since you everyone has it that's why it shows up in everyone's inbox otherwise it would be good so if i click on the probably the release of purchase orders other ones if you click on it and click on workflow log click here and this you can see student 10 okay so that's it uh, very simple sqvi you just do the query and this will help you and you can use it anywhere and everywhere the table doesn't change okay that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great